Hello out there. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to talk about Notebook LM, which was created by Google. It previously had the name of Project Tailwind. But the idea, it's going to be tailored on the research items that you bring in. So documentation, copy text, files from your Google Drive, its responses are gonna be based off your research. Um, and the cool thing is that it also prompts you for follow-up questions, which I think is really cool. So let's go ahead and get started. So once you log into Notebook LM, um, you'll click the plus button for a new notebook. I'm gonna call this Notebook LM Demo. Click Save. And then what you'll notice on the left-hand side is where you can add your sources. If you click that button, you'll have the option for to get files from your Google Drive, a PDF document, or some copied text. At the bottom is where you'll be able to interact and see the responses from the AI. Without any sources, you cannot type in here at all. So you actually actually have to add a source first. And on the right side, then you have the ability to add a note. These notes are actually basically saved responses. So as of right now, you just can't come in here and type in a note manually. Um, you do have to save a response as a note, but you can change the title of it. All right, so let's go ahead and add up. Well, let me go ahead and delete this note. Let's go ahead and add a source. I'm gonna add a file. Um, I have a PDF on my machine. Let me grab. Let me grab something regarding dwarf stars. All right, and this is a very short PDF. For longer, longer PDFs, it might take a while more for it to parse through and you'll see the icon spinning, uh, but mine is done. I'll go ahead and click on my source. And this is the text copied from the PDF. Um, so then you'll get a summary of the resource or the source, sorry, that you brought in. So this will just be an overview of what's being talked about uh, in this. And then it's gonna give you some items for key topics um, in that case. Um, let's click on that again. Now there's a weird little bug. These are actually, you're supposed to be able to click on these. Um, I don't know if it's a bug where you have to refresh your page or maybe it's still processing in the background. If I go back on here, And you see now I can click on these. So, so I'll just click on this top one. Um, the key, it's a key, one of the key topics, dwarf stars. Now, if I click on it, you'll notice an AI prompt. It changes it slightly to what it's asking. What does the author say about dwarf stars um, in that case? And then, so we're gonna get a breakdown. In this case, it's going to create it as a bullet list right here. Um, and then, like I said, what I like is that it gives you follow-up prompts that you can just click on, right? Um, for example, what happens to door stars when they die? Let's click on that button or that prompt. And it's going to spit you out that response as well. Right. Um, and then you can, you have the ability to then save any of these responses as a note. So I'll click this button here, pin this message to a note. And then, like I said, you can't actually type in here, but you can change it. Change the title, I'm sorry. And you have to click on this um, uh, expand icon here, and that's when you can change. I'll just say summary dwarf stars. And you can't come in here and ed edit any of this text at all. So, um, yeah. And then here I ha still have follow up prompts right here. All right. And then I can come through and I can say, generate me a, a numeric list of research items. Ah, type, mistyped. Right. And there's just uh, follow up research items that I might want to. Uh, to research essentially. Um, but again, you can still interact with AI, but again, it's it's based off your research. I might say, what does, um, what is the oldest dwarf star 